1. What is the capital of India? Option 1. Bangalore Option 2. Kolkata Option 3. Chennai Option 4. NEW Delhi End of question. Close the reader to input your answer. Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to show you how to conduct online examination using Microsoft Forms in Microsoft Teams. The teachers who are using Microsoft Teams free version, they can't conduct online examination directly in the Microsoft Teams using Microsoft Forms. So to conduct online examination using Microsoft Forms, you can set the question paper to conduct online examination in Microsoft Forms first and then you can attach that Microsoft Forms question paper into your Microsoft Teams. Now without any delay, let me show you first how to log into the Microsoft Forms and how to set the question paper and then how to link the question paper from Microsoft Forms into your Microsoft Teams class, channel or subject. First, open your Chrome browser and type Microsoft Forms, select Microsoft Forms. Here you can see formsoffice.com. So this is integrated inside the Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Forms easily create surveys, quizzes and polls. So let us click this. Once you select that, it will take you into a new window and you have to sign in into the Microsoft Forms. Click sign in and enter your organization or school user ID provided to you. And then select next. It will ask you password. Enter the password. Then click sign in. Okay, here I logged into my Microsoft Forms. So now let me show you how to conduct online examination or how to set the question paper to conduct online examination as like we conduct examination online using Google Classroom or Google Forms. So here I'm going to set the question paper using Microsoft Forms. To conduct the online examination using Microsoft Forms, you have to select new quiz. So let us first click new quiz. It is untitled quiz. So let us name this quiz as online test. Let us enter description online test to test online test. Okay, we have named this test like online we have named this test as online test. Now let me first show you the settings. So here we get more from settings. So let me first show you the settings to set the Google Forms properly to conduct online examination. On the right side here you can see three dots. More, more form settings. Click more form settings. And then click again settings. Now here you can see option for quiz show results automatically responders will see their results and correct answers immediately after submitting the quiz so if you want to release the scores after manual verification you can uncheck this box otherwise you can select this box second one who can fill out this form anyone with the link can respond only people in my organization can respond Record name, one response per person. This is best if you are conducting online examination through Microsoft Teams. Next option for responses, accept responses. If you uncheck this, then form won't accept responses from students. So we have to select accept responses. You can set the time and date also for this exam. So let me select the starting date is 8-1-2020. The starting date is 8-1-2020 and the time is 10 a.m. And we can even select end date also. Let us see how to select end date. Click end date. Okay, 10-15. Let me change that into 10-30. That means within half an hour duration, the students have to complete writing the online examination. You have the option even to shuffle the questions also. Even you can lock questions also. 1-2 whatever questions you can you have given you can log those questions or you can shuffle those questions 
or customize thank you message also you can customize thank you message generally we get your response was submitted or you can change even that cust you can even change that message also without any problem and we have theme also so you can change even the color of the question paper so let me add little bright color so now this is a theme i have selected bus on the road in a city but to make it more befitting then let us go back to the default settings of theme okay so we have set theme and settings properly now let me show you how to add questions to this form i am going to make it very simple question paper with mcq and one short answer question so to set the mcq question and short answer question we have to first click add new let us click here you get to set mcq question text question rating question date question and there are few more options also available more question types let us click here you can select ranking questions you can set like or question you can even set file upload question you can even set net promoter score and you can add even section also so without any delay let me first choose the choice multiple choice question and let me give one simple question what is the capital of india and so the question mark option 1 let me give bangalore option 2 let me give kolkata and to add one more option click add option let me give chennai as option 3 and to give fourth option let us click add option in the fourth option let me give new delhi as the option now let us give points here under points i want to give one mark to this mcq question and if you have multiple answers to this question you can even select multiple answers otherwise uncheck this multiple answers and you can make this question as required so that students can't skip this question let us see more settings for question you can use shuffle options drop down math subtitle and add branching now let let us first select the right option answer for this question so new delhi is the right answer or option so let us select this correct answer so we have set correct answer for this question and this is mcq question and then let me show you one more question to create one more question add new tap it then select text question now here let me type one more question what is the capital of karnataka and this is short answer type question so students have to write the answer and points also we have given one point correct answer option we cannot give even if we give also this may cause problem now let us see how students can answer to these questions in preview tab now here this is the question paper for the student side online test online test to test online test hi swami when you submit this form the owner will be able to see your name and email address so it is required what is the capital of india so let me select the option and what is the capital of karnataka let me type let us see what will happen here bangalore okay it's accepted then let me submit so once we submit thanks your response was submitted view result also we can see i got 1 by 2 because this was not evaluated so far so let me go back to thank page and then let me come to the responses here now let me now how to review okay here is a review answers option is there so let me click that review answers option okay here i got okay it is mcq question was auto graded now this short answer question i have to grade so needs reviewed came so let me give what is the capital of karnataka bangalore is correct so let me give one point and review next so there are no questions to review i think these marks must be automatically added so let me go back responses average score came and the questions we have set so this is the simplest way to set the question paper 
to conduct online examination using Microsoft Forms. Auto grading facility is also available for MCQ questions, but for short answer questions, paragraph questions, that means extended questions, we have to evaluate the answers manually. Now let me show you how to send this question paper to student. Here you can see share option is there. Click share. You can send this form through mail also or you can embed this form also and the QR code is also available or the simplest way is link this form and copy this form and you can share in through WhatsApp. But here if you select only but here if you select only people in your organization can respond this form should be linked into the Microsoft Teams. Then now let me go back into my now let me click the Teams and then let me select the class and section to which I want to share this question paper which I prepared in Microsoft Teams. So click here. Here you don't get any kind of option to add this Microsoft form into your class. So come to more added apps. Click more added apps and select forms here. Click it and here come and double tap it. Now here you get forms. Click here and select add to team. Select add to team. Click and then select your class to which you want to add this question paper. So I would like to add this question paper to class 8 general. So let me select it and then click setup. Now here you can see the pop up window. Create a shared form that your team can edit and see results. Name your shared form or if you already have existing form, you can add an existing form. So let us click add an existing form. Here you can see the question paper which I have prepared in Microsoft Forms is available. So let me click or select that. Now it is highlighted and here you can see collect responses or show results. Let me select collect responses and then click save. Here you can see the new tab has been created online test so students they can log into their class in general tab and they can open this question paper and they can appear in the examination and they can complete attending online examination in the Microsoft Teams. So we have integrated Microsoft Forms into the Microsoft Teams. The most important point is we are using Microsoft Teams free version. If you are using Microsoft Teams free version, you cannot conduct online examination or you don't get assignment tab, you don't get quiz tab to conduct this kind of examination in the Microsoft free version. So this is the way you have to conduct online examination using Microsoft Forms. So thanks for watching this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates and information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye. Take care.